Hello my friends, I am Jihondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Open TTD Season 2. This is episode 91. Um, we are achingly close to this mission here, so let's get going right away. Um, I mentioned in either the last episode or the one before, um, I was looking to try and figure out A, when to end this season, but also B, what to do for the next season. In terms of ending this season, I took a look in the uh, readme files for the mods I have installed, and the last new vehicles, or at least the last vehicles available, are in 2070. So I think we're going to make that the official end date. Uh, so basically we have uh, 45 years left. So several more episodes yet, but uh, definitely we're closer to the end than we are to the beginning, that's for sure. So. Um, and as I mentioned in that episode, if anyone does have any suggestions for Season 2 in terms of mods or challenges, um, please absolutely let me know. Just leave me a comment in this video or any of the OpenTTD videos. Um, I do see all comments. I have it set to notify me whenever there is one. So I will definitely see your comment, and if it seems like a challenge I can do or seems like a reasonable suggestion, something I can make happen, we will make it happen. So, anyway, let's put the speed up. Let's get this last... Uh, couple of bags of valuables to Putwell going here. Actually, we're also pretty much done this uh, livestock to lose head one as well, so we're going to have two missions done any minute now, which is awesome. Uh, between episode 90 and 91 here, the one I'm doing right now, I did take a quick look through the vehicle upgrades. There was a couple minor road vehicle updates, nothing major. And that was all, so we're all up to date there unless something new comes in sometime soon, but anyway, the, uh, oh, well, Lewis had one actually finished first. I thought Putwell would, but apparently not, but that's cool too. Shouldn't be long, though, there's lots and lots of, uh, road vehicles coming, and it's so close now, it's no big deal. Come on, lads, just a couple more truckloads, you can do it. And we're into 2026. Uh, Menworth Power Plant is already connected. On the weirdest looking track I've ever built. What was I doing here? Sorry, I think I should just fix this. As you come here, you come up this hill. I can't probably avoid. Then you get to here and there's another little hill and then another little hill. Ew. That's pretty gross. And that one there, I recognize that name. That's also one that's already in progress. So I think what I'm going to do is to give us something new. I'm going to fix this finally. I don't know how many times I've looked at this and it's bugged me, but we're going to fix this right now. And we're going to start by ripping up all this track. I guess I could have left the stuff by the depot. I probably won't move that, but that's okay. Not a problem. Okay. So that's all gone. Now let's try to flatten this land out a bit if we can. Okay, so that's as flat as that's getting, so we still have a bit of a mess at the actual uh, station here, but it's still not that bad. Okay, can I bring this one up then? Okay. That doesn't really look flat, does it? Okie dokie. I guess it's flat enough. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Now this can come back across here to reconnect the depot. And this can just continue over this way to meet up. Nope, I don't want that little hill. I absolutely do not want that little hill. There we go. And I'm sorry, Druids. Yes, I know I'm destroying a lot of... Uh, trees and grasslands there, but they will grow back, not to worry. There, 
Now you only have to do that hill and these couple of corners. That hill is unavoidable. Okay, I'm much happier with that look of this. That's way less messed up. Not that it terribly matters in terms of the train, because the train's super powerful anyway, but it just kind of bugged me to have that little mess there. So we fixed it. I suppose if I really wanted to, I could have actually destroyed the station, flattened it all out, and then replaced the station, but I don't mind that one little hill, because um, it's always going to be empty when it's coming back in, so it's doing the hill empty and then going downhill full, so. And anyway, it really doesn't matter with the power of these engines, it really doesn't matter anyway, but. Uh oh, I see a problem. You, sir, are going back and forth empty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, so now we need to trace that back. It probably means it's out of iron. That's what usually that means. But we'll trace it back. Yes, you have no steel to give. Um, have no. S oh, you're sorry. You're bringing the steel too here. It's this side that's not getting any iron. Okay, that makes more sense. Well, you've got iron for sure. You're producing steel. Um, I think I am a confused boy. Well, not the actual truck. I want the station. Accepts iron ore. Has no steel on hand, though. This station does count as this one. You can haul... 35 iron ores. They also need to be replaced, but that's unrelated. You are hauling 35 iron ores. Okay. So all things being equal, that steel should then show up here. But it isn't. So, where exactly is it going? You are accepting the ore because you are producing, but you don't show it as being transported because you're not dumping it back into the station to be hauled away. Eh. Why is that? Is there more than one thing here that's possibly picking up that steel? No, nope, just the one steel mill. So it's not a case of... Uh, like if you have a station in between, for example, two steel mills, you can't really be sure which one it's going to go to. I mean, you can try and push it to one direction by putting the station closer, but ultimately they both... Either of them could take it at any time. But I really do want to know why this station is not working anymore. Because it was working for the longest time. Yeah, which of course then means that other things are collapsing around it. You are picking up the ore. You really are. You know you are. So why are you not supplying steel? Is this station too far away? No, it supplies steel. It even could slightly further away. I am so confused. You definitely want steel. It's not like it's got the wrong cargo manifest or anything. You definitely want to pick up steel. OK. 
coming here, hoping to do a full load, but there isn't anything. So you're immediately leaving because you recognize there's never going to be a load. So why is this factory not giving the steel to that station? Huh. That's quite a mystery we've inherited here. Because nothing else here should be using that steel. The only thing that do steel are the steel mills that produce them and the factories that absorb them. There's no way that this is close enough to this one for this one to be picking it up. No chance. Yes, nothing is happening here. I am so lost. They still like me. And it's not like the computer would ever do the bright or the exclusivity rights. Especially in a city it doesn't have any interest in. So what is going on here? Huh. I am confused. You are definitely bringing iron ore. Iron ore gets to this station because these are connected. Drops it off to the steel mill. The steel mill processes it, produces steel. But then where does it go? Where are you giving your steel to? I don't understand. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, there's no amounts at all here. pick up steel. I just, I, I don't get this. I don't know what has happened here, but it makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. It's not like the local authority is angry at me or anything. Um, this, well, this was a part of a different one anyway, but they also don't have steel because they're completely separate. So this little, you know, mini ecosystem here absolutely should be working just fine. Yet somehow it isn't, and I, I really don't get why that is. This does not make any sense to me whatsoever. I'm sure whatever it is is going to be something really minor and really dumb that I've done, but I could not tell you what that something is. You are definitely producing steel. It's almost like this train doesn't think it's active or something. Did I miss a square of the upgrade? Nope. Oh, yes, that's the problem. This square here. Right. Thank you for that. Um, sorry about your road there, lads, but uh, that's secondary to me. Because apparently you cannot do a crossing. Interesting. Well, I'm sorry, lads, but you're going to have to have a broken road. In fact, you're going to have to have a couple broken roads here, because the rail comes first. Whether you agree with me or not is completely irrelevant. That's the way it is. Okay, that looks like it should be the rest of the way. I will magnanimously even give them a way around. I'll put it a little closer. There, congratulations. Have a very expensive bridge. There, 
Now the people of the city can, in fact, get around without having to go all the way to this side. They just have to go all the way over here. So let's see if that fixes the bizarre little problem that apparently I created without even noticing it. Yeah, see, now it's at least, it's waiting. The station is now active again. It's bizarre that that deactivated. I've never seen that behavior before, but anyway, this is now at least working again, so that was strange. Guess these guys are set for a replacement soon as well. matters their road is so short it's pretty much irrelevant anyway but now let's get the speed back up here get this train going I guess the one mercy of what it was doing is at least this train was still getting a chance to go into depot a lot so its reliability will still be okay a lot of times when something weird happens they just sit in the station and they just sit there for months or years at a time and the reliability just tanks so when they finally do get to leave, they just break down every five feet. So anyway, this one is now rolling, which means it must have a full load of steel. Yes, good. Which in turn means when it gets over here, it will be allowed to produce some goods at this little factory here. which in turn means goods will actually be available for the planes again. And my little economy there, once again, is working. Hooray. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're back in business here. As painful and slow and brutal a process as that was, we at least figured it out. So. And now I know that while roads are more than happy to cross any other type of train, they apparently really do not like maglev. I don't know why that is, but that's what it is. So, anyway, so be it. Alright. That pretty much chewed up our whole episode, too. That's unfortunate, but anyway. Anyway, let's keep rolling here. See if we can't. Uh, I know we certainly aren't going to get any of these missions complete, but let's see. Maybe we can at least get out of 26 here. And that would be a good little mini goal for this episode. Still working away, apparently. That's, the, I guess, the one advantage of an AI opponent. They will always keep building until they reach whatever limit they've been programmed to. Whereas, as a human, I've built all the stuff I need to, and I'm, I occasionally will build something extra on the side, but not very often. So, theoretically, that would be how an AI could beat me. If it was actually just continuously building and I had kind of stopped but I think I'm far enough ahead of it now I don't think it can catch me I'm turning over 37 a year and it is only at 17 so not to mention it yeah I'm at about double its current cash on hand and for some reason it's not paying this loan back either which isn't a huge deal but it's paying two grand in interest for absolutely no reason I have no idea why that is but anyway Meanwhile, well, Bork's doing okay. It's, uh, it really only started a few years ago, um, back in, I think it was 2004. Up until then, it just kept failing. So I don't know what it was doing, but it was not doing it well. But it seems to be holding now, so that's good. Well, the 
cars or street cars. Yeah, I'm a little concerned now. I may have uh, maglevs into cities somewhere else. So I guess I have to just wait for them to start complaining about non-profitability. That's probably going to be the easiest way for me to tell which ones are affected, if any more are. Because I don't, I certainly don't remember where all I built maglevs right into cities. That is a crazy number of boats. And it probably isn't even enough. Nope, definitely not enough on that side. And not enough on that side either. Yeah, all those boats and it's still not enough. Huh. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. But anyway, no matter. I don't really think I need to put any more boats there. I don't think I'm ever going to completely keep up with it. But clearly this city's growing really well, because when I first put this here, this was just a wee tiny little city that barely covered this edge of the island. And so is this. This was also, excuse me, as I recall, a very tiny one. But anyway, there we go. We have reached 2027, which is an excellent place to put a cut in this episode, because we're time control anyway. So until next time, folks, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.